Hello everyone, welcome to ashatech.com, your engineering sciences channel. In this lecture, we are going to look at the bearing calculations of Martin Ashawa, and this is my WhatsApp number. The guiding question says, in a particular application, the radio load acting on a ball bearing is 5 kN and the expected life for 90% of the bearings is 8,000 hours. Calculate the dynamic load carrying capacity of the bearing when the shaft rotates at 1450 RPM or revolutions per minute. So this, this is the number of hours, the 90% of a group of bearings will complete uh, before the first evidence of failure while rotating at 1450 revolutions per minute and carrying a radial load of 5 kN. So let us look at the the data that is provided to us is the radio load which we are calling p and is 5 kN, which is 5000 newtons the speed is 1450 rpm or revolutions per minute and we also need to look at the hours uh, the number of hours we are calling it lh that life in terms of number of hours is equal to 8,000 uh, hours. Then we needed to go ahead and calculate the expected life. Expected life in million revolution. So this is uh, defined by L equal to 60N times LH, everything divided by 10 power 6 because we are converting it to million revolution. And this will be 60 times N, which is 1450, times LH, which is 8,000, now divided by 10 power 6. We find that the expected life of these bearings uh, and uh, moving with uh, a speed of 1450, transmitting a radio load of uh, 5 kN, the expected life in million revolutions is going to be 6 96 million revolt. Uh -huh. So having calculated the expected life, then we need to look at the, the dynamic dynamic load carrying capacity. And we are calling it C. So C is defined as P times L power 1 out of K. Whereby K is a factor, a constant, that it depends on whether this is a roller bearing or or ball bearing. So K is equal to 3 for ball bearings and K is equal to 10 out of 3 for roller bearing. So therefore C is equal to 5000 which is P and is our radio rod times L which is 696 power 1 out of 3 and C is equal to 44.3 so this is the dynamic load current capacity of the load, I mean of the bearing, that we have been asked to calculate. Thank you so much.